for today's story time, we will be reading Moon, Earth's Best Friend by Stacy McAnulty. Look up, look up, look up, it's me, Moon. I'm Earth's best friend. Where Earth goes, I go. We have been together since the beginning, almost. Let me tell you our story. Once upon a time, about 4.5 billion years ago, a space rock the size of Mars crashed into baby Earth. Big ol' mess. Pieces of rock, chunks of Earth, and even lava were blasted into space. This crash trash came together to make me. A satellite. Actually, I'm Earth's only natural satellite. Natural, not created by Earthlings. Satellite, I circle Earth. She has thousands of human-made satellites, too. They're mostly metal and plastic, not exactly best friend material. Guess that makes me Earth's number one real sidekick. It takes me 27.3 days to go around Earth once. Coincidence? I think not. It also takes me 27.3 days to spin once. Means I'm dependable. My face always smiles at Earth. You never see my backside. But you probably noticed I look different every night. Fun, right? New moon, waning crescent, last quarter, waning gibbous, full moon, waxing gibbous, first quarter, waxing crescent, new moon. Some other planets have best friends, too. I am Moon, but I'm not the only Moon in the solar system. Of all the Moons, I'm the fifth biggest. I'll always be Earth's pal, but that doesn't mean we're twinsies. She's bigger, four times bigger, and her gravity is six times stronger. Gravity is the invisible force that makes an apple fall to the ground instead of flying to the sky. A cow that weighs 600 pounds on Earth would weigh 100 pounds on me. Speaking of cows, Earth has cows, and nursery rhymes, and nursery rhymes starring cows. But a cow has never jumped over me. I'm too far away for even a kangaroo to make that leap. Average distance between Earth and me, 238,850,500 miles. You could fit 30 Earths in that distance and probably a gazillion cows. BFFs help each other out. I keep Earth from being too wobbly. This might be the most important thing I do, and you probably didn't even know that. With me, gentle spinning, like gravity at work. Without me, topsy-turny. Don't worry, moon gazers. You're never without me. I don't disappear during the day. I'm always here for Earth. You just can't see me with it's super bright out, or when it's cloudy, or when I'm on the other side of the earth. I can prove I'm always here. Check out the ocean's tides. High tide happens twice a day. Low tide happens twice a day. That's gravity again, my gravity, pulling earth's ocean. I have the best views of earth, and earth has the best views of me but some Earthlings wanted to see me up close. I'm the only other place in the universe where man has set foot. And I do mean man. I'm still waiting for my first female astronaut. I've had 12 moonwalkers and a few left footprints, and some of these footprints are still here. No wind or rain or snow to mess them up. Other things you won't find on me. Oxygen, mosquitoes, which is a good thing, I think. Plants, animals, including cows, liquid water, things you will find on me. Rocks, really big rocks, more rocks, nail clippers, presents from Earth, stuff left behind by untidy astronauts. Golf ball, falcon feather, hammer, American flag. Earth and I have so much fun together, even when we play Eclipse. 
Solar eclipse. I hide sun for a few minutes. We play this during the day. Lunar eclipse. Earth's shadow passes over me. We play this at night. I'm always here for Earth. I'm always here for you. Where Earth goes, I go. And where Earth goes, you go. Guess that makes us best friends too. pose, look up, take your arms straight up to the sky, and touch your palms together. Pretend to look up to the sun. legs hip width apart, feet facing forward. Reach your arms up high over your head, bringing your palms together. Tilt your upper body to one side, pretending to be the moon. Come back to center, tilt your body to the other side. Leg. 
extend the other leg behind you, flexing your foot. Bend your torso forward and take your arms back alongside your body. Pretend you are falling through the sky like a shooting star. Switch sides and repeat the steps. Sit on your heels, slowly bring your forehead down to rest in front of your knees. Place the palms of your hands flat out in front of you and take a few breaths. Imagine your arms being the tail of gas and dust particles coming out of comet. Sit on your heels, slowly bring your forehead down to rest on the floor in front of your knees. Rest your arms down alongside your body and take a few deep breaths. Pretend to be an asteroid in the dark sky.
for watching. We'll see you in our next video.